Tonight we're making some chicken pot pie soup. Quick, easy, and delicious. You guys stay tuned. It's gonna be a good one. So again, this is a very easy recipe, pretty much a dump and go, and it's so, so good. So here's our ingredients. What I have here, I have about three cups of, this is smoked chicken, but you can use any type of leftover chicken that you have, rotisserie chicken, baked chicken, or whatever it is that you have. I have a bag of mixed vegetables here. We have some onions in this container. We're gonna be using some condensed chicken, cream of chicken soup. And I have some chicken broth. I'm going to be using my handy dandy electric skillet, but you can do this on the stove with a pot or in a big skillet if you'd like. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. We will be seasoning though with salt, pepper, garlic, onion, just the basics. And I'll be probably using a little Italian seasoning or rosemary or something like that as well. So let's go ahead and get into this real quick. So like I pretty much said, this is a dump and go recipe. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to saute up about a half a cup of diced onions that I had here. I'm using a, two tablespoons of butter and I'm using my electric skillet. And I'm just gonna saute these onions for about a minute, minute and a half, just to kind of wake them up a little bit before we start adding in the rest of our food here. All right, so I've had my onions going for about a minute and a half, sauteed them up just to wake them up like I said. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our uh, chicken, now, again, I'm using smoked chicken, leftover smoked chicken, but you can use rotisserie chicken, smoked baked chicken, whatever you have. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that in just to get it warmed up just a little bit. We're try not trying to completely reheat it because it's gonna reheat as we continue on with our process here. But I do wanna just wake it up as well just a little bit for a few minutes. So that's what we're doing. So now I've had the chicken going for about two minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead on and begin to add, dump in the rest of our ingredients. It's pretty simple. So we're going to go ahead and add in our two cans of cream of chicken soup. And then we're gonna be adding in some chicken broth as well. I will hold off a little bit on the frozen veggies just because I don't want them to become mushy. But we're, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add in, like I said, two cans of our cream of mushroom. And then we're gonna add in some chicken broth. Okay, so when we add in our chicken broth, all we're wanting to do is just loosen up this soup. Now, as far as the amount that you want, it's really the consistency that you want for your chicken pot pie soup. So if you run it, run it kind of loose, add in more broth. If you want a little thick, you don't have to add quite as much, but um, you'll be able to see the consistency I'm going for. I would say more of a medium consistency is what we're shooting for. And you can see how ours looks right now. Now this will cook down a little bit as we continue to let it simmer. And once we get that loose, then we're gonna go ahead and get it to our, uh, our liking. Now we're gonna go ahead on and add in our frozen, our frozen veggies. Again, this does not take very long. It essentially is a dump and go. And once you get it, everything into your skillet or your electric skillet, you just put the lid on it and let it simmer for about 20, 25 minutes and you're ready to roll. All right, fam, now we're gonna go ahead and season up our soup. Again, I'm not adding any salt to this right off the bat because we do have our cream of mushroom soup and there is sodium in the soup. Plus my chicken was seasoned fairly well uh, also. So we're just gonna go with our um, Italian seasoning and our black pepper right now. You can add in your granulated garlic and onion at this time as well. But you kinda just wanna season it to your taste. Everybody's taste buds are a little different so you may want to go a little heavier here or a little lighter there. It's totally up to you. And at this point, you can totally taste your, uh, your soup too to make sure it's up to your liking. But we're going to go ahead and season it up with just our herbs and our pepper. And then we're going to go ahead and continue to let it simmer. If you want to add salt to it, you can. But again, we have sodium in our cream of mushroom soup and in our chicken. So we really don't have to add salt at all. All right, so we've had it going for about 15 minutes. So what we're going to do is just give it a nice little stir. We're gonna give it a taste to see if we need to add any more salt, garlic, or, or garlic, onion, or pepper. If everything is good on your end, cover it back up and let it go for another 10 to 15. And here's our finished product. We've allowed it to go now. It was a total of 30 minutes cook. And I'm just gonna add some rice with mine. I like to add a little bit of rice into the bottom of the bowl. And we're gonna cover that bad boy up with some of this good soup. Got some nice fresh biscuits on the side. And this is gonna make a fire dish. Uh, fog around the corner it's good to have some of these recipes in your back pocket that don't take a whole lot of time but when you eat them it seems like they've been simmering over the stove all day long so I hope you guys do give this a try uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you've tried this before and if you want if you plan on trying it 
uh, it's really good. It's going to be a good one for you guys, especially, like I said, with fall and winter coming up. Put this one in your back pocket. I'm sure you enjoy it. Till the next time, God bless. We will see you next time.